Today we are going to show you the best compact cameras you can buy right now. We have analyzed the market and listed these 5 best compact cameras for you. For more amazing tech product reviews and suggestions please subscribe to our channel. We will try our best to present you with the best tech products that you can buy now. Products links in the description box. In this video we'll be covering compact cameras including what they are, why you may want to choose them and some of the best options out there. Number 5 The Olympus Tough TG7 is an all-in-one camera that is perfect for outdoor activities due to its robustness. It is waterproof, dustproof, sandproof, and dropproof. The camera has a 12MP BSI CMOS 1-2.3 inch sensor, 4K video recording, and an internal 25 to 100mm zoom lens. It is lightweight and compact, making it easy to carry in your pocket. It also has a USB Type-C connector for charging and an option for vertical video recording. The Olympus Tough TG7 camera is perfect for beginner and intermediate photographers. It has user-friendly controls and a simple interface and the mode dial illustrates each mode sensibly. Auto mode works well in daylight and users can try the 22 scene modes in trickier lighting situations. You can gain more exposure control by switching to aperture priority. The super macro mode allows you to focus as close as 1 cm to capture sharp and colorful shots. Using the Olympus Guide Light helps with extra illumination. The Tough TG7 may not have the highest quality for photos and videos, but it's versatile and allows you to capture footage in environments where other cameras may not be able to. Additionally, the camera comes with a range of accessories, has a tactile feel, and is easy to use. It's an excellent travel camera for adventurers who need a reliable camera to document their journeys, both the good and the challenging parts. Number 4 The Panasonic Lumix LX102 is a high-end compact camera with a 17-megapixel micro four-thirds sensor. It's perfect for photography enthusiasts with a dedicated shutter speed dial and aperture ring around the lens for easy exposure adjustments. The Lumix LX102 is also highly portable and lightweight. It features a larger micro four-thirds sensor that's about 1.6 times larger than the one-inch variety. However, some compacts have even larger APS-C sensors available. The Lumix LX102 has a 20MP sensor that's taken from the Lumix GX9. However, the multi-aspect ratio design means that only up to 85% of the image area of the sensor is used, resulting in a maximum possible resolution of 17MP. The Lumix LX102 has touchscreen functionality, and the electronic viewfinder offers a large 2.76 million dot resolution. The Lumix LX102 can shoot 4K video, but it crops in on the center of the sensor, resulting in a 1.34x crop factor. Therefore, the widest focal length possible is 32 mm. However, you do get all of Panasonic's clever 4K photo shooting modes, including post-focus, sequence composition, and focus stacking, as well as the ability to shoot at 30 frames per second. You'll only get 8 MP JPEG files in these modes, but they can make a significant difference between getting a shot and missing it. The Lumix LX102 now has the feature of charging via USB from a power bank or a laptop computer, while Bluetooth connectivity has also been added. This allows your smart device to stay constantly connected to the Lumix LX102 without using up too much power, with a Wi-Fi connection made when it's time to transfer images. Number 3 Ricoh GRII 9 The GRII 9 is an impressive, compact camera that is built to last. It is smaller than most smartphones and can easily fit into your trouser pocket, making it a great option for travelers and photographers on the go. The camera features a fixed 3-inch LCD touchscreen that can be challenging to view in bright daylight, but it can be adjusted up to its brightest setting to help you get the best shot. Despite its compact size, the GRII 9 boasts a respectable 200-shot battery life that can be charged on the go through USB-C, allowing you to keep shooting without worrying about running out of power. With a moderate shooting rate of around 4 frames per second, you can capture fast-moving action with ease. The camera includes snap focus and macro focus modes, which can help you get the perfect shot every time. The GRII 9 is equipped with a 24.2 MP APS-C CMOS sensor that can capture stunning photographs with incredible detail. With an ISO 100 to 100 and 2400 sensitivity range, you can shoot in a variety of lighting conditions without sacrificing image quality. The camera can shoot up to ISO 6400 before noise becomes apparent, allowing you to capture sharp, clear images even in low-light situations. Number 2 The Sony ZV-1 is a compact camera that is easy to carry around. It is lightweight and can fit into a pocket, making it highly portable. 
The camera is built with sturdy plastic and has a slight bump at the front for comfortable vlogging and taking selfies. Its back thumb grip ensures a secure hold. Although the screen and its articulation mechanism are reliable, some of the buttons can be unresponsive. The microphone grate on top requires regular cleaning as it attracts dust. The Sony ZV-1 has an efficient autofocus system, but its tracking feature struggles with moving subjects when compared to other interchangeable lens cameras like the Sony ZV-E10. The camera has several area and tracking modes, including real-time AF tracking. This feature seamlessly switches between subject tracking and face-slash-eye tracking when it detects a human subject in the frame. The camera also has an animal tracking mode for pets. The Sony ZV-1 can shoot full HD 1080p and 4K video. It comes with a detachable windscreen to reduce wind noise outside. It can record 4K video at up to 30 frames per second but with a slight 1.12x crop. It can record FHD video at up to 120 frames per second and has a high frame rate mode for super slow motion footage at 240 frames per second, 480 frames per second, or 960 frames per second. The video output can be set to 24p, 30p, or 60p to get varying levels of slow MO. The Sony ZV-1 has only one SD card slot located at the bottom of the camera. This can be inconvenient when you want to switch out cards while the camera is attached to a tripod or monopod. Number 1 Fujifilm X100V The Fujifilm camera mentioned in the document is a premium device with a sturdy milled aluminum build that provides a robust feel when held. The camera's top and bottom plates are crafted with precision, giving it a sleek and high-end appearance. The buttons, dials, and the tilting screen have a satisfying tactile feel that indicates the camera's overall build quality. The tilting screen is a standout feature of this Fujifilm camera with a solid mechanism that ensures stability during waist-level shooting. The screen is also very bright, providing excellent visibility even in sunlight, and has a high resolution that delivers a crisp and clear view of your shots. Although the camera's autofocus tracking can be inconsistent, it still supports face and eye tracking and is suitable for slower-moving subjects. Additionally, this Fujifilm camera captures a wide dynamic range, which is great for high-contrast scenes and has a high-resolution sensor that can record 4K video at up to 30 frames per second. With 10-bit 4.2.2 video output via HDMI and F-Log support that captures a wider dynamic range, the camera is suitable for both everyday and cinematic shooting. However, extended takes in 4K can cause this Fujifilm camera to overheat, which can be challenging during filming. Nonetheless, the camera's high-speed recording mode in FHD allows you to record 1080p footage at up to 120 frames per second, with slow-motion playback available at 2x, 4x, or 5x slow motion. One downside of this Fujifilm camera is that it has a single SD card slot located at the bottom, which can be a bit inconvenient when using a tripod. Nonetheless, its placement is understandable given the camera's small size. All of the best compact cameras are on our list. Please click the thumbs up icon if you found this video to be helpful. Which compact cameras would you choose? Let us know what you think by leaving a remark below. Thank you for your time click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video to be useful in any way so you won't miss any upcoming updates. All of you who viewed before that I hope to see you in the upcoming video.